We are talking about a big warm up for us as temperatures will jump up by about 35 degrees from where we're sitting at this morning. A little bit of patchy frost and patchy fog out there this morning, so be careful if you encounter any of that. However, not any major headaches, no rain, snow, sleet or freezing rain, anything like that. There's not even a cloud to be found here across the lower peninsula, and that's part of the reason why we're so cold. We have clear skies. We also have calm winds. All that giving you the optimal ingredients to allow temperatures to fall with the bubble of high pressure from Canada moving in. And that's why we're down to freezing now this morning in Ubley and Vassar below freezing in Harrison at 29 degrees. The cold spot this morning just above freezing in Frankenmuth at 34, 37 in Burton, 38 in Auburn and 36 as you head out this morning here in Shiawassee County through Corona. So grab the sweatshirt, grab the coat. I had the coat this morning for sure. I even had some ice on my windshield that had to let the truck start, warm it up and melt some of that off. You may go out there and scrape some of it off. So give yourself a little bit of extra time for that this morning. Otherwise, we're looking high and dry, clear, quiet, and that's the weather that we're expecting for this afternoon as well. And with all this sunshine, we're going to see temperatures warming up. It is September after all, so even though we're very cold in the morning hours, we could still get pretty warm in the afternoon, and I'm forecasting a high today of 69 degrees as you head out this afternoon. So that's the big turnaround from this morning's chilly temperature start. Look at the rain, though, out towards the D Iowa and Dakota areas. We're looking at rain staying out towards the south and west because while we have the clear skies here, this is our bubble of high pressure and high pressure blocks systems from moving towards you until they move out of the way. This high pressure system is not moving out until we head to Wednesday and Thursday, so we're going to be stuck with the cooler temperatures than average for today and even into towards tonight. However, tomorrow all this cool air gets pushed out towards the northeast and look at the warmth already starting out towards the Midwest behind us and in the upper plain states into the 50s this morning in Bismarck while we're chilly into the low 30s and even upper 20s here. So this high pressure, it has clockwise rotation. The backside of it brings the warmth back and that will be over us as we go to tomorrow. Tomorrow's high temperature 75 degrees and we even surpass 80 as we go to your Thursday and Friday. So the warmth is on its way. We just got to get through this chilly start this morning, but notice future cast doesn't even bring the clouds in until later today, and those clouds tonight will act to prevent us from dropping back into the 30s. Clouds at night keep you warmer than nights that have clear skies like this morning. So what we're expecting for an overnight low tonight, only into the mid 40s, then we start warming up even more back up into the 70s tomorrow, 80s for Thursday, but at the same time we'll be tracking a couple of systems moving through. We have a warm front Thursday that'll give us showers and storms, and then a cold front Friday. That cold front drops that 80 degree high on Friday to 68 Saturday, and there could be in between that a few strong thunderstorms Friday night, so keep that in mind for your Friday night football plans. And we'll talk much more about that, of course, as we approach Friday, but the weekend right now, Joel, looking good. We could have a few morning showers as we go to Saturday, but otherwise looking pretty nice, a little cooler though.